Oh, welcome back. I'm um, just finishing off the landy. I thought I'd put the uh, near side door on. Um, and the only problem is I couldn't actually get it on properly because I had to take the middle hinge off because you didn't have to have open the uh, door so about 180 degrees to get it on. So what I've done, I've slipped the middle uh, hinge off and I'll show you how bad the door's fitting. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about it at the moment. So let's have a quick look. I'll turn it. Oh, it's got caught up. Get off. Let's turn the camera around the other way. That's the uh, sort of fitting I've got at the moment. I think I've done the other and, and down here like. Maybe adjust the lock a little bit. Or the catch. I think this top is not bit of bag, so I think the other side I'll just bent it. But the problem we've got really is it that's the middle hinge I'll have to take off. Because the other so obviously the top one and the bottom one just slot straight in. But the middle one here, you have to bend it right open the door near enough right back of itself to get it in. So I can play around that play around with that later but also the thing I've got is bloody got a big gap on here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. I don't know if the windscreen is to sort of uh, come back a little bit more. Maybe I'll try that. Maybe I'll take these two tops off. Turn the camera in the other way. Turn it two tops off. See if I can get the windscreen to come back a bit more because the gap in Sure, about with the camera, but the gaps down here seem okay. The bit that runs out, oh, that's a bit of a problem there. Look, the door is actually catching on there. Yeah, it does look like it's catching on there, but that's only rubber, so it should be okay. So, I'm not sure what to do at the moment. That doesn't look like it's fitting properly, so I might take these two tops off, this one and the other side, and see if I can just align the uh, door up with the windscreen, maybe the windscreen will go back a little bit more, and if it does then, these tops, I can just slot them. But according to that, it looks like it needs to go up a little bit more. But it's down on, on the hinge, and it's down on that bottom one. Hmm, I'm sure, a bit of a quandary that one. I'd have a bit of a think about that. Right, the other thing, just quickly, I had to change was the rear lights. These ones are so much better. These sort of round ones, they sort of keep in sort of a... Uh, well, they look like they sort of appear correct. The reason I had to change them, I don't want to show you or not. These are the lamps I originally brought, which are okay, but I think they're off of Series 3 maybe. I've Believe it or not, I couldn't get any bulbs for them because the uh, normally the brake and stop bulbs they have like a staggered pin, and these ones were parallel. I just couldn't get any bulbs anywhere. Now they're exactly the same as the um, side light bulbs. I don't know if we've got one here or not. Yeah, I found one. This is a side light bulb. See those sort of parallel pins, and that's the same as what these fittings. Oh, for this one, I just couldn't get the bulbs in anywhere for them, so I changed it to the conventional round one, and it's got the, the staggered pins, which are sort of in abundance and get them pretty anywhere now. That's pretty much it now. So I'm gonna have a day wrestling with that door, see if I can get it sort of fitting a little bit better. But I think I said before, I'll take them tops off, just quickly whip them off, and see if there's a windscreen come back just a little bit more, then put the tops back in afterwards. That's it. Thanks for coming back. See you later. Bye now.